One, two, three, four, five. So Hispanics were forced to look elsewhere for answers, completely abandoning Joe Biden and his party in record numbers. You better believe that same energy is brewing with black America. They're ready to drop the Democrats and find someone that will actually listen to them for once. Here now to react is Texas GOP congressional candidate, Wesley Hunt. Well, you know, I was at a barbershop a couple of weeks ago, and that was actually a topic of, of discussion. I'm here to tell you, brother, that the tide is absolutely turning. And, and while liberals sit in their towers and their, in their comfortable homes, people have to live in crime-ridden neighborhoods. And the only thing that we want for our communities is to be safe, and we want opportunities for our families. But Joe Biden is bleeding support from minority communities because of failed policies and because of defunding the police that was started by the Democrats. It is happening right here in my own town here in Houston. Look, we used to be known as Space City, and now we are known as the murder capital of the world because of Democrat policies. In my lifetime, this is the highest inflation that I've ever seen, highest gas prices that I've ever seen. We have a porous border, and our oil and gas industry is under attack because of failing Democrat policies. And by the way, this doesn't just hurt black folks. It hurts all Americans. And again, the rising tide raised the elevation of all ships, and that's what the Republican Party has got to do to take back our country here in November, is understand that black Americans are all Americans. Um, what are you going to do in this race to make sure the message is sent that we need black men in the households for stable families. We need both of the parents there. Yes, I, I'm a black man in my family. I had an outstanding father in my family, and that's why my house has three West Point graduates sitting my sister, brother, and I, and why? Because we had a strong black mother and a strong black father. And look, at the end of the day, it's up to me. It's up to other black Republicans to show our community that it's okay to be a Republican. We are not monolithic. We can think for ourselves. Let's look at the facts. Where were we a couple of years ago, and where are we now? And I think with the right voice and the the right message, we can absolutely articulate that, and that's why I am running for office, and that's why we're going to take back the house, brother. Yeah, I'm going to be following that race, brother, and I hope to see you in the barbershop one day when I'm in uh, Houston area. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs>